the FLIR booth with Jim McGowan. And uh, for any of you who doesn't know what FLIR stands for, it stands for Ford Looking Infrared. But that's not important right now. What are we going to talk about today, Jim? We're going to talk about the FLIR One, which is our new consumer product. It's a uh, thermal imaging device for the iPhone 5 and the 5S. So why would I need a thermal imaging house uh, or device for my own home? That sounds a little crazy. Well, there's a, there's a myriad of uses. If you're a do-it-yourselfer, you're going to find that it's pretty valuable. Um, and if you just want to increase your personal security, it's valuable there too. It's for security, okay? Not for looking to see what people look like in infrared? You can, you can do that as well. I bet but, that's what's fun. <laughs> but definitely, it, it's got some security use for it as well. So the, the device is actually um, a sled for the iPhone 5 and the 5S. It has its own battery. There's two cameras in there. There's a visual day camera and there is a thermal camera in there. And what that does is produce an on-scene, on-screen image on your iPhone of a thermal image, plus we give you edge sharpening from the day camera. That's our MSX feature. So that gives you additional detail you normally would not see with just thermal alone. So on the video, what people are seeing right now is uh, we've got a little playhouse here, and he's holding the, uh, the the device over that, and we're seeing a thermal image, but I don't know how to interpret what I'm seeing. Well, let me tell you what you're seeing. What you're seeing right there is the hot spots are the real bright areas, and the cooler areas are darker. So if you take a look, you can see that the window, to the left of the window, there's a big energy leak, which, let's say that was your house, you'd know that pretty quickly. And on top of the door, and the bottom of the door could use a little seal. And you've got a piece of insulation missing right in between the window and the door. So the contractor didn't do a very good job of insulating your house at all. That's a pretty, pretty powerful purpose for this camera right there. And that's only just one use. If you had a water leak as well, you could find it. So uh, this isn't for security as much as for wasting energy and trying to get your heating bill down, that sort of thing. That's just one use. Personal security, I mentioned that earlier. If you walk your dog in a park at night and you're not sure you want to go in the park because you hear noises, you certainly could see people standing or standing in the park or hiding in the bushes and it might make you think twice about going in the park if it's dark. Oh, that's an interesting use. Uh, any other uses for this? Oh, I mean, if you go outdoors and you go camping, you can make sure your campfire is out. You can make sure it's a raccoon or a possum that's eating your food outside, not something larger. <laughs> um, I mean, there's a multitude of uses. I mean, from the consumer to the, to the prosumer, we can't possibly know every way that this camera is going to be used. But one thing we do know is if we get it in the hands of the consumer, everybody's personal and professional lifestyle is going to dictate all of the applications we're going to find. That's actually a really good point. I know I found it very interesting many years ago. I got to fly in a helicopter with a FLIR on it, and uh, you could tell how full the water was in the uh, in the uh, water tank of that. What do you call those giant water well things? Exactly. You know what I mean? I'm no, missing exactly. the word, but it was really interesting to see that from the outside. I could see how full the water tank was. Right. And this will do this as well. You could see if your propane tank is full or not. It'll tell Ooh, you. That's a really good one, there's actually, because I want to know when that thing's almost out. Right. So there's a lot of different uses of, of, of a thermal imager. Again, we don't know them all, but as we are at a show like Macworld right now, people come up to us all the time and tell us more and more, hey, I could use it for this. I'd love to use it for that. So, so it, it's an exciting new product for us. Yeah, definitely. So this is, like you said, it's a sled, which is sort of like a case, right. uh, but you said it's got a built-in battery. So does that also charge the iPhone or no? It can be used as a, as a battery backup for the iPhone. It's a, a 1,400 milliamp hour battery in there that will power this unit for up to two hours of continuous use. That's a pretty long time for a thermal imager. Yeah, so and you've got about a, about, about a 40% uh, battery backup capability in there as well. So you could be just carrying it around like that you and then could. when you needed to use it. So how much does the uh, FLIR 1 cost? $350, $349 is the price. It'll be available through major consumer electronic retailers starting in the May-June time frame, late spring. Great. Thank you very much, Jim. This is a really interesting product. And uh, is there a website they should go to to look at it? www.fleer1.com. And it's O-N-E, not the number one, but O-N-E, fleer1.com. Great. Thank you very much, Jim. Thanks.